Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. China's chip industry has developed rapidly in recent years, and behind all this, there is a key person Liang Mengsong. Without him, China's chip manufacturing might still remain at the 28 nanometer technology stage. Some people say that Liang Mengsong is a pioneer in China's chip industry and a hero who broke the international technology blockade. In just a few years, he led SMIC to complete the leap from 28 nanometers to 7 nanometers technology, and this counterattack made the whole world look at it with admiration. The story starts with Liang Mengsong's career. Liang Mengsong is a recognized technical god in the industry. In his early years, he was one of TSMC's core R&D members, focusing on chip process technology development. TSMC's rise is inseparable from Liang Mengsong's contribution. He participated in the research and development of many technical patents. However, this technical expert did not stay in TSMC peacefully. Because of disagreements with the company's senior management, Liang Mengsong chose to resign. Later, he joined Samsung and led the team to complete the leap from 22 nanometers to 14 nanometers technology. Unfortunately, due to TSMC's obstruction, he had to leave Samsung again. In 2017, Liang Mengsong joined SMIC. At that time, SMIC was stuck in the bottleneck of 28 nanometer technology, making slow progress and far behind the international leading level. As soon as Liang Mengsong took over, he showed his desperate spirit. In less than 300 days, he increased the yield rate of 28 nanometers to 90%, completely solving the technical problems that had plagued SMIC for many years. What is even more shocking is that he did not stop, but directly led the team to overcome the 14 nanometer technology. The most admirable breakthrough is the breakthrough of 7 nanometer technology. You know, 7 nanometers is a watershed in the field of chip manufacturing, and it needs to rely on the most advanced EUV lithography machine. But due to the international technology blockade, China can't buy this equipment at all. However, Liang Mengsong relied on a spirit of hard work and led the team to creatively propose a set of alternatives without EUV lithography machines. By superimposing technology and optimizing parameters, they increased the yield rate of 7 nanometers from the initial 3% to more than 95%. This means that China's chip manufacturing has finally opened a gap in the global competition. The breakthrough of 7 nanometers technology is not only a technical victory, but also a spiritual victory. With the supply chain almost cut off, Liang Mengsong and his team achieved a counterattack with wisdom and perseverance. Some people describe them as playing the boss in the game, with poor equipment and few resources, but they can win by operation. Looking back at the timeline of the past few years, every step is incredible. In 2017, Liang Mengsong joined SMIC. In 2018, he led the team to break through 28 nanometers. In 2019, SMIC's 14 nanometers technology was mass produced. By 2021, the yield rate of 7 nanometers technology had reached 95%. It took China less than six years to go from 28 nanometers to 7 nanometers. 
This speed completely subverted the global semiconductor industry's perception of Chinese chips. Of course, it is not just Liang Mingsheng's credit behind this. The efforts of the team, the support of the country, and the collaboration of the entire industry chain are all indispensable. But it is undeniable that Liang Mingsheng's personal ability and hard work played a vital role in the whole process. At present, SMIC led by Liang Mengsong has entered the mass production stage of 7 nanometer technology. This technological breakthrough has completely bid farewell to the label of low-end manufacturing for China's chip manufacturing. At the same time, the domestic technical team is also accelerating the development of the core technology of EUV lithography machines. Although this equipment is called the crown jewel of industry, China has made significant progress in the field of DUV lithography machines. Shanghai Microelectronics plans to localize EUV lithography machines in the next few years, which means that the degree of autonomy of China's chip industry will be further improved. In addition, Liang Mengsong also said that SMIC has mastered the technical reserves of 5 nanometer or even more advanced processes. Once the equipment conditions are in place, China's chip manufacturing will usher in a new round of breakthroughs. After reading this, I think there are a few points that are particularly worth pondering. First, technological blockades are not terrible, but China gives up its efforts. If it weren't for Liang Mengsong and his team, there might not be today's 7 nanometer breakthrough. Second, the importance of talent is self-evident. Liang Mingsheng's experience tells us that true masters can create miracles anywhere. Third, national support and the coordinated development of the industrial chain are the basis for technological breakthroughs. Without these, no matter how strong an individual is, it will be useless. Finally, I would like to say that technological innovation is not just a matter for large companies, it requires the support of the entire society. From education, scientific research to enterprises, one link after another. Only in this way can Chinese chips continue to counterattack.